after a whirlwind week of sightseeing. And we have this whole big, huge mess of lemons. And I have a lemon, too. You have a lemon, too. Aaron, yes. where did we get all of these lemons? Got them from Orangewood or V Center. We didn't get them there, but we got them from the trees that were by them. We were parked next to a bunch of citrus trees, and they were on a public road. And the kids said, Mom, can we pick, can we go pick a lemon? And I'm like, sure, you can pick a lemon. And next thing I know, they're coming back with shirtfuls of lemons. So what do you do when life gets you lemons? Make some lemonade. Yeah, make some lemonade. I feel like we need a caveat here that my children did not steal these from someone else's yard. The city of Phoenix is really neat in the fact that it has lots of different kinds of fruit trees um, along public roads. There's some question of whether or not you should take them or should not. Some sources say that it's totally fine and some people say no. When we were in Phoenix, I loved to go on a bike ride. What a beautiful area this is. We're in downtown Scottsdale, just off of the Canal Trail, taking a little pit stop, and we're looking for a place to plop down and eat our lunch now. Should have been leaving for the Grand Canyon. And this is the strip in between Arcadia and Scottsdale. Pretty fun little trail. My favorite thing we did, well, I love the gym. first um, solo water slide at Lifetime Fitness. Oh, that was pretty epic, yeah. I really loved my birthday and Christmas. It was the bestest time of the year. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Look at all of it! Happy birthday! Send him out of here with a big Texas sign. Yeah! One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> um, my favorite part was the beach. Some of my favorite things from the Phoenix contract were a couple of different things. I really, really enjoyed biking single track with Aaron. That was super fun when he first learned how to do that and getting a new bike. I did extra in single track! Yes, you did. <laughs> um, I loved watching Chloe climb up to the top on her first run. And Ethan and I had several really good bike rides and stuff too. Your birthday was pretty special. My favorite part of the contract is extremely hard to narrow down what a favorite part is because there's things that I liked to do in Phoenix and then there was like the excursions that we did. 
My favorite excursion was by far Sabino Canyon. John and I have seen San Diego and it was really cool, but Sabino Canyon was really fun. Um, Tucson in general was really fun. We saw this um, Saguaro National Park. And then at Sabino, it was just that perfect storm of everybody was in a really great mood and the Junior Ranger program was awesome. The kids got patches. We just had a really great time. We are here right now in Sabino Canyon Recreation Area. This is in Tucson, Arizona. And man, is it ever beautiful. Here she, she's she's been working really hard. So hard. She's been working so hard. It's a lot like our Dogwood Canyon trip. If you've been with us since the beginning, yeah. check that out. But if you haven't, you can see it here, here, here. Saguaro National Park isn't the only place that you can find the majestic giants. You can also come here to Sabino Canyon, which is part of the national park system as a national forest and has a visitor center all of its own and a junior ranger program. That's like the, the skeleton inside of it. Isn't that cool? Whoa. But it's made out of wood. Feel it, it's hard. It's like a piece of wood. Whoa. You wouldn't think that a plant like that like has wood inside of it. It looks like it's juicy. <laughs> You're tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's peekaboo. On my honor. I will do my best. I will do my best to protect and preserve. To protect and preserve our public lands. Our public lands. And to assist the Forest Service. And to assist the Forest Service in its work. In its work. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations. Good job, everyone. There's these spikes, <laughs> and they're legitimate spikes. I think they're called tiger shark. Well, I don't know what. You'll see them here in a minute. This is the exit to the overflow parking. Um, they're one way, uh, and it looks like they should collapse as we roll over them, and nevertheless, I don't, it makes me nervous. We're just gonna have to go for it, because the other gate is closed, so I guess this is the way out. Good Lord, oh my gosh. was largely about learning how to boondock. Our first contract was about how to figure out RV living in general. In this contract, we completely took on a whole new learning experience and figured out the whole boondocking thing. During the Phoenix contract, we took some time to really think about what we wanted to teach our kids. There was one time that we completely just pulled over on the side of the road and John was like, hey, look, there's a cotton field. Cotton. And so we just got out of the car, we went and picked cotton and took a look at it. And then it prompted us to come home and get online and figure out, well, how's cotton made? How's your shirt made? Like that's the plant that it starts from and how cool is that? And we really let the kids lead this contract um, this time around and really figure out what their interests were and, and look into that, which was fun. Where we had Windy Park for a good majority of the time was on state trust land. And state trust land is also like open range grazing land for cattle. Um, 
well, we wanted to go on a bike ride. We knew that there were cattle and cows around us as the evidence was also around us. The farther back that we got, you know, the more evidence of the cattle we would run into until we kind of came around this corner. They're far away. I'm not worried about it. The cows kind of come around this little bend and they're looking at us. And we're looking at them and it's all fine. And then out of nowhere, these three big boys kind of come around too and they look at us and then, and then they start running at us. And it was just like, okay, now it's time to go. It's time to go right now. And the funny thing was, was, I actually got it on film. Met some friends today along our bike ride. Gross. I just <laughs> Look at the cows. Or the cattle. Oh. Alright. Time to go. Oh my god, you're coming! It's okay. Just keep riding away. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Unfortunately, this event has led to my daughter's fear of what she calls the wolves. And I'm like, wolves? What are you talking about, wolves? And I'm like, there's no wolves. And then she's like, no, the wolves, the wolves are coming. Now, every time we see cattle or bulls anywhere, it's always, look out for the wolves, they're coming. Chloe, just get it. What are they doing? I don't know, they're just grazing. They're just grazing. Why are they coming over here? They're not, they're not coming over here. They're leaving, see? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm very sensitive to sour. <laughs> <laughs>